Good morning, it's Karen at Simply Living for Him. I'm here to do my daily devotion. As you can see, it's another one of these bright and sunny mornings. The, the crosses are out. Uh, if you watched one of my previous devotions, I actually talked about these crosses that uh, come out when the sun is shining in my room. It's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, the sun is super bright today. Um, and anyway, I wanted to uh, give you some encouragement today. I talked about this in my devotion, uh, my devotional book that is available on Amazon. And I just think the story that I'm going to tell you is such a great encouragement. And maybe you will look at things a little bit differently today if you're kind of waiting on God and feeling like you're not getting answers. Or maybe you feel like... Um, you know, he's not giving you the answer that you want. So we know in Romans 8, 28, it says that God is always working things for good. So right there, that should comfort us that no matter what is happening, whether we understand it or not, we have to trust that God is always, always working for our good. And then it says here in Isaiah 55, that beautiful passage, uh, chapter 55, verse eight says, my thoughts are completely different from your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So I love that. It says like, I don't think like you, you know, I'm God. I have a completely different way of thinking. Um, and, you know, his ways are far beyond our ways. So I want to tell you a little story that goes well with this. So we have chickens. And years ago when we had our very first flock of chickens, there was a time where, you know, we would let them out every day um, to free range, to go in the grass. They could go anywhere on our property. And of course, they're chickens. They love that. They love the freedom. They love to go in the grass and, you know, do all the things chickens do. And at one point, we had a hawk that kept coming and it was like circling our chickens. So I had to put the chickens away back into their coop. And so they had their coop and then they had a little tiny area covered that you know they could be in but they certainly weren't free and this one day in particular I had put them back into their coop and they were standing in their little run at the door and literally like pegging at the door they just wanted out and you know usually when they saw me coming they would all line up at the door because they knew that when I was coming I was going to let them out so this one day they saw me coming and they all stood at the door but I couldn't let them out because there was a hawk circling now, no matter how much I want to communicate with my chickens, I just can't. First of all, I think a lot higher than a chicken does, right? And I cannot communicate with a chicken that um, I'm really protecting it. All they knew is she's standing there and she's not letting me out. Like, you know, normally she lets me out. She's not letting me out. So for them, they could never, ever, ever, ever understand why I wouldn't let them out. And it was kind of sad because they just kept standing at this door waiting to come out and I couldn't let them out. But isn't that like us sometimes? We're standing at a door, you know, and we want God to open that door. We pray for God to open that door. We beg God to open that door and he doesn't. Or maybe we are praying about something and we feel like we're not getting an answer and we're waiting and we're waiting and we feel like, you know, we're not getting an answer or we get an answer, but it's not the answer that we want. I want you to remember what it says here in Isaiah 55, 8. My thoughts are completely different from your thoughts and my ways are different from your ways. And then combine that with Romans 8, 28, which says he's working all things for good. So his thoughts are are beyond our comprehension. He cannot explain to us sometimes why he's closing that door, just like I couldn't explain to the chickens. He cannot explain to us maybe what's on the other side of that door that he's protecting us from, or what's on the other side of that door that he knows is not for our good. And so we have to trust him. We are not God. You know, we want to be sometimes. We want to take control of our lives. We want to know what's going to happen. We want this and we want that. We are not God. And Thankfully, we have a God who is in control of our lives, <clears throat> who knows what's best for us. And that's the key. He's never going to allow something to happen to us in our lives unless it's working for good. Now that I know can be hard sometimes. We all go through tragedies. We all go through struggles. We all go through horrible things. And we're like, how can this be working for our good? Because the Bible says so. And maybe not right now in your life at this point, does it feel good? Maybe right now it doesn't seem good, but we know in the end, the very end of the story is that God is victorious and all things will be worked out for good for his 
purposes. So remember today, just like those little chickens who I couldn't explain to that I really had their best interest at heart. I wasn't trying to punish them. I wasn't trying to, um, you know, uh, make them suffer by not letting that door open. God is doing the same for us. He is in control of your life. He knows what's best. His thoughts are not the same as ours. Praise the Lord. And they're much higher than ours. And he's always, always working for good. So if this encouraged you, I'd love to hear from you. Share it with a friend. And until the next time, I wish you all the blessings and joy in Jesus today.